Hi, friends. I'm Emily Lay, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking for a quiet place where you can filter out the noise and the hustle, this is it. Every week, I invite you to slow down and join me to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. Well, guys, if you are a fan of Simplified or have never tried a Simplified product before, we would love for you to come check out our winter warehouse flash sale. It's going on right now. You can save up to 50% off some of our best selling products over at emilylay.com. Well, guys, welcome to the 100th episode of the Simplified podcast. I cannot believe we've already arrived at this milestone. It feels like yesterday I pulled out my microphone out of the packaging, set this whole thing up, and honestly, I've learned so much since that very first day. When I started working on this podcast about two years ago, I had one goal in mind. That was you. I remember exactly when I decided to start the podcast. It was December 2020. The world that we were in was what it was. It was a strange moment in time filled with fear, anxiety, and a lot of new normals. There was a lot of juggling that we were doing. Our family was figuring out Zoom school and quarantines and how to tackle supply chain issues, throwing curveballs all the time. And I found myself thinking about you. How is our simplified sisterhood, I wondered? What do they need right now? Do they need tips to get through another day or another load of laundry? Do they need advice on getting rest in a way that serves them best, like how to get a good night's sleep or how to find a moment of peace, just one in a scattered day that demands too much? Do they really need a good TV show rec or an easy five-minute meal idea that they can slap together in a pinch? Do they just need life to be more simple? And the answer to all of that, you guys, is always a big yes. I decided that popping into your ears once a week would be a great way to meet you right where you are. Wherever you are in your day, whether you're at work or home, catching up on chores or fitting in a quick run, shuttling the kids around town, I wanted you to feel like you could take a minute and grab a quick coffee with a friend, which when I started this podcast felt a little hard to do. Just go back and listen to episode one. There's a reason I called it where to start when everything feels hard because it was no one was having coffee with any friends back then. So I bought a mic, partnered with the women at Four Eyes Media, who have been longtime Simplified advocates and producers, and got some intel from our producer, Amy, on all things Podcast 101. I just wanted to talk to you about it all. The silly, the serious, the practical. Life's made of all of it. And I wanted to point out the stuff that's worthy of your attention, or that might be tugging on your mind already. And 100 episodes later, here we are. It's been worth the time and effort to connect with you in this way. I love the feedback we get with our weekly time together, and I feel closer to you guys than ever before. This podcast has been such a journey of learning. Sitting down every week and trying to think about what you really need has, as a natural side effect, forced me to think and learn about myself alongside you. We've put together some of my biggest learning moments and thought it might be fun to share some of our takeaways from our first 100 episodes. In our research and from our wonderful guests, I've learned a ton of new things that I didn't know before. All the way back in episode 13, we did an episode about sleep. And I learned from researcher Matthew Walker why sleep is physically so important to the way our brains function. In episode 30, child and adolescent counselor Sissy Goff coached us on how to help kids with their anxiety in stressful times, which was an episode so many of us parents needed to hear. In episode 57, boundaries expert Nadra Tawab taught me that when you want to change someone in your relationship, the only thing you can actually do is change yourself. Talk about simplifying. It saves you so much time when you stop trying to change other people. What a revelation. In episode 82, I learned something that blew my mind. Researchers have found that your brain literally uses a different part when you write things down. And that is why, dear listener, having a paper planner in 2023 is still so valuable. In episode 87, I learned the best ways that Jen Hatmaker gets food on the table for her people even when she is over it. Also, practically speaking, I learned that the first mic I used on the show, the Blue Yeti, well, for the first six episodes, I was using it backwards. Backwards, you guys. And you can hear it, too. So please know that just because you hear my voice in your ears each week, that I don't have it all figured out. Thank you, John, the engineer, for pointing this out. 
it has been a joy to see you connect with the different episodes that really speak to you. Sometimes you guys love an episode that I thought you would, but sometimes what you respond to takes me by surprise. The numbers show that you guys loved hearing from my husband, Brian. We did an episode last February called Keep Getting to Know Your Person. And I heard about this one from you guys for weeks. Plus, it made me laugh and laugh, which is why you'll get to hear from Brian more this year. You also loved episodes that featured some conversations with wonderful people. You loved hearing why peace is a practice with the amazing artist Morgan Harper Nichols. You loved learning about how to go beyond just getting by with influencer Mallory Irvin. You embraced how to find new tools for a new season with writer Shauna Nequist. And you also loved learning about gardening hacks with my friend Whitney Hawkins from Team Simplified. That last one brings me so much joy. Wit is amazing. But your favorite episode of all time, the one that's gotten more downloads than any other. Well, it is the one where I texted Amy last January and said, Amy, I have an idea. And she immediately texted back an enthusiastic, yes, we have to do this. So this goes to show you folks that sometimes when you're scared to do something, that kind of means there's a good reason why you should probably do it even when you're afraid. And that is why I recorded episode 64, which we called Getting Real About My Wellness Journey. I told you all about my explant surgery, about why that was such a healing thing for my body, and how I've been trying to work with my body so that she is her strongest and most nurtured self. That's so important to me, and I am so happy it meant something to you too. So hitting a milestone makes you think, Hello, I literally just did an episode about this two weeks ago about turning 40 this year. And here's what I'm thinking right now. One of the best things about my job is the women I work with at Simplified. Seriously, I don't say that in a we're all winners kind of way, but the work I get to do with these women is so beyond what I ever could have imagined doing by myself. I am proud of the work I've been able to do on this brand, but I'm just one person. I have only one set of lived experiences and wisdom, but that's the beautiful thing about collaboration. There are more people standing alongside me asking, what if? And there's so much wisdom under those what ifs. That wisdom comes from their own years of experiences, their successes and victories, stumbles, mistakes, what they've learned from grandmothers and children and everybody in between. My life is better because these women are in it. It is more rich and textured because they show me new perspectives and new ways of doing things. They help me remember that none of us are alone because we all belong to each other. And that is why I had a little idea. When you guys get to interact with these women through our socials and on the podcast, it seems like you love them as much as I do. So I thought, I bet the Simplified Sisterhood would love being with these women too. And you know what happened after that? I got goosebumps. I got so excited because the women on Team Simplified represent so many of us in the Simplified Sisterhood. We're all at different ages, stages. We're in different stages of partnering and parenting. We have different kinds of work history and hobbies. And we approach how we simplify our lives in ways that are similar, but more importantly, in ways that are different. These women are so important to the way we work and serve you with different Simplified products. And I just love the idea of adding their voices and talents to the show too. And that is why I am so excited to tell you that starting today, the Simplified podcast is growing to include a few more voices. Because today I am welcoming three women to step up to the mic with me. And I am so pleased to introduce my brand new co hosts for the Simplified Podcast, Laura Kashner, Liz Holtzman, and Jessa Bray. I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you in a moment. Guys, I seriously am like covered in goosebumps because I'm so excited about this. But for now, I have to tell you how thankful I am that you've met me in this space for 100 episodes. I am so thankful you've trusted me with your heart and let me speak to you week after week. I love being here with you, and I'm going to stay in this space with you as well. Some weeks we'll have a roundtable discussion with all of our co-hosts. Some weeks it'll just be one or two of us. We'll definitely keep having guests on the show because we want to learn from thought leaders outside our circle. And we have some exciting new things planned for this year that we've never done before on the show. Things I think you guys are going to absolutely love. Suffice it to say, if you guys enjoy being in this podcast space with me, then you're going to love sharing this space with some of the women I love too. 
They will do the same thing for you that they've done for me behind the scenes. They'll make you laugh. They'll make you think. They'll make you go, oh my gosh, I've never thought of it that way because they do that to me all the time. We gain so much insight when we take the time to learn about ourselves, but I think most of the time we gain even more wisdom when we pass the mic and listen to what the person beside us has to say. We gain so much insight when we bounce ideas off each other or turn to each other for advice when we're stuck. We get perspective when we talk with others who have been where we are and especially where we haven't been. There's so much power when we cultivate a community of women, and that is what I want for us here. So guys, I am so excited to welcome you to a new era of the Simplified Podcast today. Let's get to it. Here is my conversation with our brand new Simplified co-hosts, Laura Kashner, Liz Holtzman, and Jessa Bray. Well, hi, friends. Hello. Hello. (laughs) You guys have to talk back. It's like part of the podcast. Yeah, I get it. I'm new here. I'm here, but I'm figuring it out as we go. We'll figure it out. You have to talk to me. Hello. (laughs) Welcome to our 100th episode, which is wild to say. That is so crazy. We have some really fun news to share with you, and I am just so excited to introduce you to three friends who, let's see, one of you has been on the podcast before. Liz, Laura, have you been on? No, I have not. No. Okay. Okay. So Jessa has been on the podcast before. Liz and Laura have not, but I'm so excited. took a big leap of faith with us. (laughs) We're just going in blind here. I know you offline and you've just brought so much joy to my life and my career and to Simplify It and to all the women that we support and work with. And so I'm so excited for you to join me as co-hosts of the Simplified podcast. But to break the ice and get started, I want you guys to just introduce yourselves, tell the world a little bit about you, about what you do at Simplified. Liz, we're going to start with you. Hi, friends. This is so fun. So I am Liz, Liz Holtzman. I am the marketing director here at Simplified. I am definitely the new kid on the block. I have been here about a year. Ready? new. So I, as marketing director, really handle all of our strategy, planning, execution, day-to-day, all of the things for really all of our marketing channels here at Simplified. So anything you see where we're talking about our our fun products and our fun stuff, that is kind of under my umbrella. Yay. And Liz, it's so funny that you say you're the new kid because I feel like you've been here forever. (laughs) Same. Fun fact about Liz, when we were interviewing different candidates for the marketing director position a little over a year ago, we had everyone submit videos first. And so when we first got (laughs) Liz's video, all of us were automatically obsessed with her and just trying to play it cool. We were. We were like, okay, guys, we got to be chill. And if you only knew how many drafts of that video i'm Stop, sure are I you serious <laughs> it was funny because we were like we gotta be chill and then emily followed her on instagram <laughs> emily yeah emily is the worst at this i, I literally <laughs> toxic I, trait for emily is, has no chill emily has no chill <laughs> anyway we love you liz we're so glad you're here i love you guys i'm so grateful to be here and depending on when this episode comes out at the end of january we're recording it mid-January. So by the time this episode comes out, you could have a baby in your arms. I could have a child. Yeah. Yes. Which is so wild to think about. Your first baby. My very first baby that we worked really hard for. So yes. yeah, <laughs> we are stoked about that. We are so excited and we're starting to get nervous, but it's fine. It'll be great. It's just a new adventure. Laura, you have to follow that up. It's your turn. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura Kashner. I am the designer of Team Simplified, and I like to say I have the best job I truly have the best job on the team because I get to work so closely with everyone. After freelancing for so many years and kind of being like a one woman show, the collaboration and the brainstorming and just the jumping on Zoom and just dumping out of ideas is like life. It is so fun. I have three girls. We live in the Midwest. Same with Liz. We live in Northwest Illinois. My girls are 10, 7 and 4 and they're busy little bees. And we're also kind of on a new adventure at the moment now. We're building a home, which has been amazing and wild and (laughs) all the curds in between. Loved living it vicariously and not having to actually do the problem solving. (laughs) I'm so glad I could do that for you. Yeah. I've been on the team since summer of 2020. That's now three years. It's crazy. But I've known Emily for a long time. So we've worked together prior to me being on the team. And then same with Liz. She posted that she was needing a designer. And I'm like, 
Okay, here we go. Well, Lara is an unbelievably talented designer. Like, I tell her all the time, I always pinch myself that we get to work with her because she's so good. So good. Retweet. So good. Thank you. Jessa. Well, I'm old news now. <laughs> Listeners know you a little bit already. <laughs> it's great to be back. No, I'm so pumped to be here. I am, if you haven't caught the other episodes with me on it. My name is Jessa Bray. I am the art director here at Simplified. Anything that you see that is a pattern that has been painted, that's me and my hands did that. And I've been here for five years in February. That's awesome. Nuts. I've got a husband and three kids. We own a barber shop here in town. He's a worship pastor. And I'm just trying to keep everybody alive in the circus. Word. I feel that. So Jess's story is Whitney was working. I was living in Tampa and she was like, Emily, these dots and stripes that we're doing on our Simplify planners are so cute, but I have this idea. And there's this <laughs> girl that I've been following on Instagram and she's insane with a paintbrush. And I was like, tell me more. And I think we hired you like freelance for a minute. And then we were like, can we have you? Yeah. So I painted two patterns for you before I was even hired. So it was watercolor floral and it was mint pineapples and it was a huge deal. This was an enormous deal, I feel like, for the company to 100%. to entertain the idea of something as organic and fluid as watercolor. It was a turning point. It was a huge deal. And you guys, shortly after that, I mean, you know, we did the patterns. I was elated that you loved them. And then shortly after that, you were like, we're looking for an art director. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I was also freelancing at the time, had my own company, and I was over it. I was completely done, empty. And my resume was bleak, okay, because <laughs> I was a self starter. Like, I didn't go to art school. I just kind of did it on my own and let it evolve. And my resume was more of a love letter. It was like, <laughs> it was like, I know you don't see anything on here, but I promise. <laughs> I can deliver. XOXO, Jess. Yeah. It was it was definitely like a shoot your shot moment. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to submit. Like, what's the worst that could happen? And that day, I got a text message from Whitney. And she's like, she's so interested. And she's very <laughs> excited. That's awesome. Like, what does that mean? And yeah. Jessa took things. She helped us take things to a whole new level. Like, the visuals of the patterns and like the artwork that we were putting out. She's a really beautiful voice of like, let's broaden the table and the circle and like welcome others in, not just through artwork, but like our messaging and everything. So that is so kind. And it is yeah, the best ride being here to take things like wait until you guys see not only 2023, but 2024. Liz, this is your first episode. And let me tell you right now, <laughs> if you start spilling secrets, I'm not, not, I won't. We're not even I'm not. five minutes in and you're going to just start dumping things. I swear to you, I'm not, but I'm just saying when oh. they see you just you're not even ready it's I'm a no. huge deal like, I, I would say this this change coming up for us with the company yeah. is just as if not more huge. pivotal than the one of welcoming watercolor yeah, and I agree. gouache and acrylic to our 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 lineup yes we have to stop because i might divulge secrets it's just it's <laughs> so good it's so good wait till you see it so i love it During busy weeknights, you know what saves my sanity? Meal planning. I love that I don't have to ask the what's for dinner question. And anytime a Green Chef meal is on the menu, every member of the Lay family is thrilled, including me, because they're a cinch to make and so good. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well, and they have options for every lifestyle, truly. Whether you're eating keto, vegan, Mediterranean, gluten-free, Green Chef has delicious meals that'll bring more flavor to your table. Plus, I love how customizable Green Chef meals are. You can swap out proteins that come in your meal, and if you find a meal you absolutely love, you can order double portions next time. That is what I'm going to do with the tropical teriyaki salmon bowls. They have this cabbage slaw and pickled ginger and sriracha aioli that I am like addicted to now. Guys, if you want to get rid of the what's for dinner question and save some time in the kitchen, you have to try Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com slash simplified60 and use code simplified60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. This is a super good deal, you guys, so don't miss out. One more time, greenchef.com slash simplified60 and use code simplified60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. Winter is a time for all things cozy, but for people with eczema, it's also a season of flare-ups. 
because cold, dry air can trigger eczema, itch, and irritation. So if you're looking for something to soothe your skin this winter, you need to try Glad Skin. Glad Skin is a new kind of skin treatment that's made for people of all ages who have eczema-prone, acne-prone, and rosacea-prone skin. Glad Skin uses a revolutionary smart protein called Microbalance that targets the imbalance in your skin's microbiome so your skin can finally heal. Glad Skin with Microbalance is steroid free, gentle enough for babies ages three months and up, and is approved by the National Eczema Association. I can see why. Glad Skin is great for moisturizing my dry winter skin, yet it's super gentle. And I'm not the only fan. 91% of users who tried Glad Skin's eczema cream reported significant improvement after just seven days. So start your journey to stronger and healthier skin today with Glad Skin. They're offering my listeners 15% off, plus free shipping on your first order at gladskin.com slash simplified. That's gladskin.com slash simplified for 15% off plus free shipping. Gladskin.com slash simplified. So I have gotten some questions of like, Emily, why are you bringing on like new co-hosts? Are you stepping away? Like what's happening? And the answer is no. It's like the exact opposite. I, I think it is so important as we've grown the podcast over the past couple of years, it has become so obvious, like how important it is to have lots of voices and lots of perspectives. The conversational episodes are just, they're so interesting and I think they're so impactful that I'm stoked to have you guys come on as co-hosts and share from your own lived experiences and welcome people in in a whole new way. So on that note, let's talk about what serving our, so we call our, our followers, our customers, our community here, the Simplified Sisterhood. Why is that important to you and what does that mean to you? Why does it matter so much to you to serve people? Let's, Jessica, can I, can I have you go first? I think I'm so passionate about serving the simplified community and the sisterhood just because I want people to know that even the people on this team working for a company called Simplified, using the tools that we create, we still get overwhelmed. We are still very much messy people in some way, yeah. shape or form, in some facet of our life we are. And I'm really just kind of over everybody pretending that they have it all together. So mm -hmm. it is a joy and privilege to kind of be a voice of, no, I'm not that way. My brain doesn't work <laughs> like that. This is very hard for me. And if anybody else identifies that way, like I am on your team, I am here. And so I guess I want people to know that like they aren't alone in you know, in the messy and the chaos and the overwhelm. And like, if it comes hard to you, that's okay. It's just baby steps, progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I was going to echo that. I think the worst feeling in the world is feeling like no one else is feeling mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. yes. Because no one else is talking about it. Right. And no, no one else is sharing their messy fridge with their kids' soccer schedules and like right. peanut butter smeared handprints coming down. You know, like, is my house the only house like this? Is my car the only car like this? Is my like, and I, I, that's why I feel it's the the power of knowing that there's thousands of real women, moms, students, yes. grandmas in our sisterhood that are along the the ride with us. That's been so powerful. Oh my gosh! On that, okay, Tyler and I were sitting and watching Emily. You're kind of past this now, like these types of shows. Bluey, no, yeah, your kids don't watch Bluey. Okay, no. Blue's a huge deal right now. It's I would say this could be a spicy take for people, but I think it's <laughs> I think the, like pure genius. It is absolute genius. And but one of the things that they like really like capitalize on is that they don't have it to, like it, it's very much transparent as much as a cartoon can be. We were sitting watching an episode, Tyler and I, and Bluey was in the car, and their whole family was in the car, mum and dad mm -hmm. and Bluey and Bingo are in the back and they're in their car seats and you look around the car and there is stuff everywhere. That's awesome. It's not just like car seats and they're strapped in and everything's fine because that would have been so much easier to illustrate, I'm sure. But I guess maybe this is me being an artist and like paying attention. They like, there's trash on the ground. There's markers everywhere. Wow, that's amazing. There's stains on the seat. Like it was important. There's Fanta on the floor like in my car. That's <laughs> right. amazing. <laughs> but in those moments, we're like, oh my gosh. Okay, we're normal because the cartoon said so. My car also looks like that. Same. So we want you to feel normal because we're normal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're normal. Liz, what about you? 
I mean, I have very recently been a part of the Simplified Sisterhood. Like I, prior to landing this dream job, was such a fangirl of not only Simplified, but Emily for years and years and years. Like I utilized the Facebook group. I was exactly who we talk to and who we create for. And I know how impactful the work that we do is because it impacted me very recently. And I don't take that lightly. I think the responsibility that we have to, you know, like just like Jessa said, to create space at our table for every single type of woman, not just the women who, you know, organize like Emily. I try not to lose sight of that because mm-hmm. I think it's a big, a big deal what we what we get to do and a huge, huge privilege what we get to do. Sometimes when I get into the weeds of work with, you know, whatever is going on, if I if I go to that Facebook group, it is the most positive corner of the internet. Like if you are looking for a place where you can belong and not feel like you're alone and be with women who are just, they're kind, they're respectful, they're normal. I don't know, like go over to the Simplified Sisterhood Facebook group because it really is an anomaly. Like it's a, it's a cool place. The range that you can find there is pretty incredible. Totally it, agree. It gets serious and it gets not we're gonna get yeah yeah, we're gonna get serious about vacuum recommendations but we're also (laughs) gonna get serious about how to handle in-laws coming into town yeah Yeah, i just i literally just saw someone posting about they just lost a parent and what that process looks like and i think the fact that we house that platform and that space for conversation for women is so flipping cool it's just it is. it's so powerful to me what do you enjoy about your fellow co-hosts this could get pretty lengthy i was gonna say like literally y'all how much time do we have we have to choose one thing like- we have to choose one <laughs> thing which is one thing about each person because i have the best like crazy questions to ask you in a minute these are going to be like our rapid fire ones very too. excited i love a rapid fire. i do too so i will try to you guys know that i am not very i'm i'm a lengthy chatter i'm long-winded and then we throw in pregnancy hormones and then we throw wait. in and then the tears really i already am a crier and then pregnancy hormones don't help me <laughs> I swear to you this, and I know I have said it a million times to everyone on this podcast, but this group of women is truly, truly, without a doubt, one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Truly ever happened to me. Emily is just the drive that Emily has. She is the light under our butts, the flame under our butts. (laughs) She, her excitement and her drive for what we are building here at Simplified and what Simplified could be pushes all of us to be better, to do better, to think better. She just pushes us to be better. I think no. it is in all aspects of my life. She's also the world's best cheerleader. Oh, thanks. And <laughs> is like the best person to have in your corner. She will fight for you no matter what. And she's just really fun to be around. Literally in the course of an hour, this has happened to me. She will have you like peeing your pants laughing, <laughs> divulging your deepest, darkest secrets of all life that you've never told anybody. Yep. yep. Be crying over them. <laughs> and then you'll be painting a wall in your kitchen like zebra stripes or something because you've wanted to for five years and it's just going to make you happy. Like literally right. she's just... Or five minutes. That's the best part. Right. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I just... She is like such a light in my life and has been such a gift to me. She really makes me laugh harder than I think anybody <laughs> right. anybody I've ever met in my life. <laughs> That's the best compliment. And Laura, my fellow Midwestern gal, from day one, I knew that we would click. Our personalities are very similar. Yes. Laura is our maximizer. She's always looking for ways to just make what we're doing and what we're creating better and better and better. And it's so inspiring to me because I'm not always that way, especially in what I do here at Simplified. There's so much I have on my plate that so often it's like, okay, check this off and let's move to the next thing. And she's just always doubling back in such a helpful way of like, is that the best that it could be? Or could we one up that? Like, could we make that look even cooler? And it's just so inspiring to me. And she doesn't stop until she's taken that thing that you have dreamt of and made it like five times better than you ever could have pitched it to her or ever could have imagined that it would come out to be. That's so nice. She is truly one of the most talented people that I have ever worked with. And I love that I get to work with her as much as I do. Laura, you're up. Okay, I'll I'll try to be a little quicker than our friend Lizzo, who is <laughs> long-winded. I'm never quick. Quick is not a gift I have. No. Liz, one of the things I admire about you most is your tender, tender heart. Mm. Like <laughs> that's a very nice way to put that. <laughs> 
<laughs> she always jokes that she's like, where's the nearest Kleenex box? It's like I she needs it near her at all times. But just knowing you for the past year and just seeing how like how things touch you and then you just like you can't help but just like weep for things has made me I am fast paced go 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 get through the list get through life get this girl to this place get this thing cooked for dinner yeah you always remind me that life and special touching moments are happening and if you slow down enough to let them like sink into your body and your heart and your soul like that can really change you that can really change you and I Every time you share something or you're like, I'm crying, that was so touching. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, now I need to go read that because I want to be touched. Like, I want to I want to feel, I want to be touched. <laughs> Touch me. <laughs> like, I don't want to look back and be like, I didn't slow down enough mm -hmm. to let things that are important sink into my body. So I really admire that. What about you? Thank you. What am I going to say now? This isn't fair. <laughs> You know, I'm really actually glad I went first, to be honest with you, because yeah, it's, it's kind of rude. <laughs> Chelsea, okay. Sometimes we like to joke that we're the Maya Rudolph, Kristen Wig like duo from Bridesmaids. Hundred <laughs> percent. I've not heard that. Hundred and ten percent. Yes. And I feel like somehow in another life we grew up together. Yeah. Like some references that I swear no one will ever know besides me. You're like, yes. And then you like tell a story about it. I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> the thing I admire about Jessa the most is the way she cares and tends to the friendships in her life. Mm, word. Uh, yep. 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 And yep. like Liz said, I've been on the receiving end of that as well. And I've gotten to witness her do it to every single person on our team. Mm -hmm. Every single person. Mm -hmm. And I can that again, I am so fast. I'm I'm making sure that everything that I can control is happening when it should. There are days when it's been like a month and I haven't texted my best friend. Like what is like, and you remind me that those friendships is what life is about. It's what I appreciate that. community is about. It's what motherhood is about. It's what, yes. it's what it's about. And at the end of my life, I want to, I want to look back and be like, I tended to and cared for the people that did it for me in return. So you help remind me of that. Like that like so an right. example. Okay. We're we're living in this like rental. It's amazing and it's a huge blessing that we have this house right now while our house is getting built. But we've been living out of suitcases since June. Like we didn't have any of our Christmas decorations. Like it just we had to really dig deep to find the Christmas magic. And we did. We had it was great. But Jessa like spent I don't know how many hours you spent Trying to find, I live in the middle of nowhere also. I live in the country on like a lake. Like there's th like, we have one stoplight in our county, like Target's an hour and a half away. Like that's kind of where I live. She tried to like find these carolers to show up at our house to like carol. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it wasn't successful because she couldn't find anyone because we live in the middle of nowhere. Stop. I couldn't find you anybody. All the auxiliary groups that are singing, they're like, is it a nursing home? And I was like, kind of. <laughs> Depends on the day. It's like, really dead. But like, just yeah, I could have cared less that if Caroler showed up at my door. But just the the fact that that yeah. occurred to you and you spent so much time trying to make that happen is incredible. And I can only try to be half as good of a friend to the people in my life. So that's super inspiring. Jessa just knows. Like, she'll text me sometimes. She'll be like, I know that was hard. Or like, I know you're having a, a tough day today. And I'm like, what? What? Like, I feel like she has a direct line with, like, the big guy upstairs. I, me too. Truly. Like, it was a launch day. And obviously, I've only had two. Like, all of everything this year is new to me. Yeah. And I made a mistake. And it was not, like, totally tragic, but it hurts. Like, I, if I make a mistake in my work life, it just hurts. It hits different, you know? Well, and the first one hurts the worst. I yeah, and it was. And it was We've like, this was it. like the first, it was fall launch this year. And it was like the first, like, kind of public mistake I had made here. And we were all on Zoom because that's just what we do on launch days. We're all together. It's all hype. And I went camera off because I just, like, needed a second to regroup. Oh. And I get a text from Jessa that there was some expletives that I will leave out. But it was like, dry your eyes get back up. You rock. You are great at your job. And let's just keep going. And I'm like, how did you, how did you know? Like that, 
Yeah. How did you like literally her first was dry your blanking eyes. I'm like, yep. but th- that's what you need in that moment. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah. And it was like it was such like a mixture of like, get up. You're good. You've got this. And I see you and I love you and you're better than what just happened. So let's just Mm, rally. Like she just she knows, man. She knows. That's like a passion of mine, though. Like I literally like I love reading people and I love good at it. You're freaky good at it. Speaking it. If I can speak it, I want to speak it. There's a million things I love about Emily, but I will try to keep this quick. First of all, the fact that we're her business is about to celebrate its 15th year. Mm. Crazy. As all you need to know about Emily as an entrepreneur, as a leader, and the fact that it's someone who's a mom and a wife and cares a lot about things in her community and you're doing a thousand other things. The fact that we're celebrating our 15th year just says so much about you as a person and a leader. Thanks, ma'am. And just the person driving this amazing ship that we're all so lucky to be riding on. It's amazing. Another thing I love about Emily is that my older two kids are just slightly younger than her kids. I think I started following you when I had my first baby. So literally for a decade, I have just soaked up the wisdom that you have put out. (laughs) Like truly, (laughs) truly. And now we're entering kind of this next stage of parenting with our kids, which is the tween stage. Mm -hmm. And I just feel so, so lucky that I have this closeness to you where I, that wisdom, I don't have to wait for you to write a book or I don't have to wait for you to post on Instagram. Like you are, you are there as a wisdom giver on our team when it comes to being a mom and a wife in this next stage of marriage and motherhood. I've always said that it's so, so important to have someone a few years ahead of you in your circle and I've just been on the receiving end of so much goodness from you and thank you it's truly like it's changed my past 10 years I don't know I don't know what where I would be without it so okay well I'm actually gonna go (laughs) and I'm gonna keep it short like for real (laughs) get it Jay all right rapid fire for Liz is favorite thing about you favorite I would say definitely empathy which has already been covered but also, sis is smart. Okay, I was gonna say that she's so <laughs> she's smart, professional. Yeah, she's yes. savvy. Yeah, she. Okay, no joke. I have probably learned more technical marketing terms in the past year than I have in the past five <laughs> years working here. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll totally get that key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally <laughs> get that acronym. And I'm like acronyms. googling the whole time, and I'm like, what is that? Right. Did you see how quick I did, did that? Good. That was really you good. That good. was really <laughs> impressive. Yeah. We're learning. We're learning here, Jay. Yeah. I, yeah. No, it's true. Okay, okay. Laura, I will echo everything she said about our kindred spirit situation. Ooh, you guys are weirdly connected. Probably my favorite thing working with Laura, though, is that she is the girl that says, well, yeah, I can. Like, she's just an I can girl. There's nothing like passive aggressive or like any like weird motive behind it. It's like truly she enjoys being a maximalist like that's just her love language wants her plate full and we i will add on to that that we are definitely i would say the two people on the team that are the most direct we are the most cut dry tell me like it is tell me right now we're not gonna wait we're not gonna like let things fester story on that real quick this is called a quick story guys (laughs) is i I hate you I don't I don't remember what I did. Oh, we were like going back and forth in the team text. Oh, it was about Christmas. It was about maybe this is what led me to spend hours looking for carolers. We were in the team text talking about gifts and blah, 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 and like magic. And and Laura had said something like, yeah, it's just or I'm not getting that or like I miss the magic or something. And I was like, you're getting an entire house right after this, (laughs) ma'am. I want that. And like, she kind of went quiet and I was like, dang it. I know what that means. And I texted her and I was like, I shouldn't have gone that far. I'm sorry if that hurt. She was like, it was direct. It was the reality check that I needed. It hurt at the moment. I was like, I didn't mean for it to hurt. And she's like, let's move on. And I'm like, let's do it. And so, (laughs) but that's just how we operate. That's how the best friendships work. Yes. Yes, You'd rather just not. Like, let's just Mm -hmm. not let time. No fluff. Come on. Let's not do that. Okay. I love when I get to talk about Emily. The thing that I've enjoyed about Emily, especially in the past two-ish years, 
is I feel like she, you have definitely come into your own, unapologetically so. But when you're under a microscope and in a microphone and on a book and your voice is constantly everywhere, to let that evolution happen organically and say yes to it and surrender to it, that's a huge deal. And so that's been really awesome to watch. I'm really excited to see where it takes you because this year it took her to leather Spanx. I was just about to say Jessa encouraged my black leather pants. <laughs> I wonder how my voice sounded when I said that. I was like, does that need to be a sound bite? Like press a little button and just goes leather, leather Spanx. Spanx. <laughs> Guys, are you looking to get your financial future organized? Here's one thing to put at the top of your list, life insurance, because you want to make sure your family is protected no matter what. And Fabric by Gerber Life is the easy one-stop shop you need with life insurance and other financial solutions all in one place. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. And not only can you find affordable term life insurance with Fabric, you can also create a will, access college savings funds, and more tools to help protect your family's financial future, all in an easy online experience. For added peace of mind, Fabric has a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can cancel at any time. So protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash simplified. That's meetfabric.com slash simplified. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash simplified. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company. Not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. How do you want to feel this year? Less overwhelmed, more grounded, or just more in tune with your body? I don't know about you, but sign me up for all of the above. If you're looking to feel more in control of your health goals this year, Care Of can help. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every single month. You take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals, and they will give you a personalized, doctor-backed recommendation that takes the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you. In about three minutes, Care Of asked me all kinds of questions about my health goals and recommended all sorts of supplements and goodies for me, like fish oil and a probiotic that is formulated just for my prenatal self, and even some really super yummy cranberry flavored powder that I can mix right into my water to help with my immune health, which is so important for me this time of year. It is so easy and super convenient too, and I love that I don't have to guess about what I need to take for my health. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code SIMPLIFIED50. That's takecareof.com and enter code SIMPLIFIED50 for 50% off your first order. Okay, are you guys ready for rapid fire? I'm so ready. Here we go. What posters did you have on your bedroom wall when you were a kid, Liz? Ryan Cabrera. Remember him with the really spiky hair? I was in love. Obsessed. I had a very weird obsession with him. And Zac Efron, who my dad used to call Zac Zephron. I still have a crush on him. Oh, same. Except the face stuff that has happened is a little yeah. sad. But yeah, those were the two big ones. A few years ago, Zac Efron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Zac yeah. Efron in the movie, The Greatest Showman. Yes. Okay, Laura. In sync, in sync, and in sync. Really? Oh, no. I think this may be our first. <laughs> Mine was Backstreet Boys yeah, and Lisa so Frank old. posters. I Listen, I leaned hard into... The Golden Retriever and the Dolphin? Or which one? Dolphin. Oh, I, I loved a Snow Leopard. I loved a Dolphin. Okay. okay. And then I also... I, this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. I was here for the aliens. Aliens were my favorite one. The weird... Like, how do you make a, a spaceship zebra print? I don't know, but you did, and I love it. So those were mine. You would. Mine were New Kids. I was a Jordan fan. Oh. And then also Ann Geddes. Do y'all remember Ann Geddes, The Babies? Oh, the Baby Photographer. Oh, yeah. Baby Photographer. I was obsessed wow. with Ann Geddes' baby pictures. That's weird. That's like, really weird. Like, there'll be, like, three little babies, and they're, like, curled up in their little pea pod. In a sunflower? Or a sunflower. Like pea pods. Yeah. Emily. I thought they were so cute, but looking back, they're so creepy. It's really creepy. I didn't even lie to you. <laughs> Next episode is with Nana to talk to this. <laughs> yeah, girl. we really need to dig deep into that. We're going to break this down. Yeah, I need more information. Okay. Go to karaoke song. If that's not your thing, what do you sing in the shower? Liz. I would have to have so much alcohol in my body <laughs> to get me up on a stage. It's not even funny. So 
Not my thing, but I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston will get me moving. Literally. Wow. We've got a soprano in the house. It will get me every time. I will no matter it doesn't matter if I'm in the grocery store at a wedding, it doesn't matter. I will I will be dancing. Okay, Laura. Duh, it's Lady Marmalade, Moulin Rouge. Oh, we have photographic evidence. We have evidence. <laughs> we do. That will be released in a bonus episode. <laughs> Just so. My go-to song, Tyler can back me up on this, is Belief by Cher. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. If you can, like, sing with your nose a little bit more. Do you believe? It's actually impressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Okay, what's the weirdest or quirkiest item you have in the room with you right now, Lizzo? <laughs> I have a back scratcher that sits in my pen <laughs> cup that I have used on team meetings before. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have. And I love it. I have no reg- I have no shame. I have no regrets. It's, yeah. it, it works. It's helpful. Laura? Literally two feet from me right now is like a 4,000 piece replica of the McAllister home in Home Alone. Oh, we did that. That we built over Christmas break when there was a winter storm and we couldn't leave for four days. It's so cool, but it's down here so that the dog doesn't get it. But it is the weirdest thing in in my sight right now. Jessa. So on this shelf over here, I've got a skull. <laughs> like a like a human skull. It's fake. I thought it was just for Halloween. Oh, okay. Are we celebrating spooky season a little early this year? I say I have it up all year. I, it keeps the, you know, it keeps eternity in perspective, but... <laughs> Your perfect sandwich, Liz. Brie. Literally throw brie on like a cardboard box and I will eat it. So like really good sourdough bread. You got to have sourdough bread. Oh, sourdough is the best. Sourdough is the best. Prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a little sweet jam. This is the most expensive sandwich. Oh, yeah. There was a price limit. Nobody said anything about it. Oh, yeah. No, no. no, (laughs) And warm. Like I will always a warm sandwich over cold sandwich. Always. Agreed. If I had to make my own, that's what I would do. Again, price is no limit. Mm-hmm. Laura, what's yours? Okay, literally, we're kindred spirits. I wouldn't argue with any of that, Liz. Thank you. But first of all, it always has to be toasted. I don't care if I'm eating it. I pizza. agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. Throw me on some avocado. Mm. Um, and I always like equal parts like meat and cheese and then veggie. I need I need a salad in my sandwich. You need a crunch? Okay. Yes. Are you a crunch girl? Well, if you're always toasted, I feel like you're a little crunchy. Crunch. Crunch. Yes. crunch girl. Team crunch. Okay. Mine, I'm a sloppy girl. Who's surprised? So that means you give me your Reuben, your pastrami. Oh. I want I want exactly what Tony Soprano would order if he walked yeah, in. Yeah, but go. Oh, give me the go. <laughs> like, my mouth is watery. But if I need to keep it simple. I really, the Tony Soprano image. Really the Sopranos are actually a huge, like, I love them so we much. We have watched that show three times now all the way and through. And it gets better. I, I could better. watch it again. Same. Yeah, so good. If I am at home, though, your classic BLT trumps most sandwiches for me with a stiff tomato. Stiff tomato, like, calm down with the seeds. So aroma tomato. I'm with you. Take those out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, last question. Is there a simplified tip that you are just, like, on the struggle bus with? Like, something maybe one of your co-hosts does really well, but you're like, "Mm -mm, I can't do that. Lizzo? Home organization. Really? I really struggle with that. I love that you picked just a category, not even a tip. (laughs) No, it's it's the whole thing. The whole thing. I'm just not a very good, like, minimalizer. We have a lot of stuff. Let's give her a week when nesting hits. Your turn, Laura. So, okay, uh, what we're struggling with right now. Okay, our mornings are not great. Mm. So, yeah, we're struggling with that. It's so dark here in the morning. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That really is hard. So the kids are getting on the bus in the dark. Getting up before them is dark. So we we are working to get everything ready the night before, but it's just hard when you get home from practices at eight. You still got to do homework. And it's just, yes, we need to get better at our mornings. When the twins hit second grade, like everything changed. I'm like, you make your lunches. You make your water bottles. Like, and they, I mean, I still have to come behind them, but they, for the most part, do it. It's great. Yes, that is. So I would say Emily's doing great at that. And I <laughs> do improve. Older kids. Hashtag different True. season. Yep. <laughs> Jessa. I'm thinking, I mean, like pretty much all simplicity tips are hard for me. Not because I can't do it. I My brain has a hard time like doing it every time Mm -hmm. like it's the consistency of 
simplicity tips that comes hard for me. And it's something I really have to work at. Specifically, gosh, laundry will forever be, I feel like, a part of my life that is just chaos. And that's okay. I've come to accept it. I think people on this team probably nail it and are great at it. Mine's something Jess is really good at. Jessa will post her meals and her dinners she makes on Instagram, and I'm like, can you just rub off on me? For whatever reason, I don't care that I started this company. I don't care that I come up with these tips. I still struggle with dinner. I truly believe that it's a desire thing. It is. And like I, Brian said, he's like, you can cook. You just don't like it. And I'm like, right. I just don't enjoy the disastrous mess it makes. And the fact that like usually two out of five people in this house will be like, I don't like it. And it's usually my husband and a child. It's not the three kids. Right. It's not all the kids just revolting. Meal planning is just hard. It's hard. Meal planning is still hard for people who love to cook. I will say that the help though is when Tyler is home, he loves to cook too. Really? And it is something that we love to do together. And it feels very, I'm not saying this to make anybody feel like their marriage sucks. Okay. That's not (laughs) what I'm saying. But I am saying that it's very much like the vibe of we turn music on and we know where each other, we stand certain places, we have a rhythm and like, it's really fun. That's so romantic. Yeah. Yeah. It is romantic. Like I don't want to sugarcoat it and I don't want to make it less than it is. It is very, it is definitely like a love language for me. Like it fills my cup up when we do that. And the other thing that I've found though, with the help with that, with meal planning for kids and everything else, the month of December, I just told my kids, I was like, we're eating party food. Tell them meal planning. No, that means that we're going to do a lot of pigs in the blanket. We're going to do a lot of sliders. We're going to have a dip night. Leftovers forever in the air fryer. Yes. 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 Amen. Things that you want to go to a party and eat and just like pig out on. Yep. That's what we're doing. I'm a big fan of the box delivery coming to my house with the dinners in it, like the Green Chef stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, there you go. We just unpack it. It is what it is. And luckily, it's usually a home run. I enjoy not having to like figure out like a quarter cup of this and then I never use the bottle again and you know oh that yeah i find that meal prepping is one of, i mean there are a lot of tips that we give people that help in life in general but i feel like when i meal prep or just plan out my meals It makes my life so much easier for the week. Like if I can get through the half hour of fun deciding what to make, it just pays off. No, it pays off like nothing, like nothing else. Like it is so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On Monday, like, oh, I don't even have to think about what I'm making or going to the grocery store because I already did it and I already know. It's just it's like the one thing that pays off. You guys, this was so fun. Thank you for being here and for joining me and being co-host. I am just so excited to see what the podcast shapes up to be like this year. We have so many fun episodes mm-hmm. in the queue. I think everybody's going to love it. So thanks for being here. So Thanks for asking us to be here. Can we say? What do we say now? Do we say like goodbye? No. <laughs> yeah. How do we do this? How do we sign off? Well, that's, that's it, folks. That's a wrap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot, (laughs) that podcast recording went so much longer than we thought it would, but we just, that's what happens when you get Team Simplified in a room. They are so much fun. I just cannot wait for this next era of the podcast. I am so proud of these ladies. I'm proud to call them mine. I pinch myself every day that I get to work with them. I get to experience their talents and that I get to call them some of my closest friends. So I am stoked for you guys to get to know them even better as well. As we close out this episode, I want to say a blessing for you as we leave this time together and get back to our days. May you reach for the friends and mentors and coworkers and others who make you laugh, who make you think, and who help you find the way toward your most full self. May you reach for the women who also need you and your wisdom so that you can share everything you've learned along the way and perhaps make the path a bit easier for the sisters coming behind you. As always, I love to leave a little tip to help you put what we talked about today into practice. So here is your task for this week. I want you to think about the women who add wisdom and joy to your life. Who do you turn to? Who do you immediately text when you get a piece of good news? Those ladies make up your life council, which is something that every one of us needs. So today, think about those women and send them a quick thank you text to brighten their day. Wouldn't you be delighted if you got one of those texts? I would too. 
Thanks for listening to the Simplified Podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for being here. You can find show notes for this episode at emilylay.com slash podcast, and you can shop the Simplified brand of planners and products. You can also find my brand new book, Sure is the Sunrise, 100 Morning Meditations on God's Mercy and Delight, right now wherever you buy books. And if you want to keep these great kind of conversations in your life every week, then you should go follow our show. It'll show up right on your phone, very automated. And if you want to get these episodes a little earlier and ad-free, check out our premium channel on Apple Podcasts, where we drop exclusive content just for subscribers from time to time. And one more thing, you are going to want to tune in next week because we're going to start hearing from our new Simplified hosts. I am so excited. Till then, thanks for listening. 